A reading from first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that He may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Discipline yourselves, keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To Him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, I have written this short letter to encourage you and to testify that this is the true grace of God. Stand fast in it. Your sister church in Babylon, chosen together with you, sends you greetings. And so does my son Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Many spiritual gurus these days teach people how to live with a peaceful mind and heart. They teach certain methods to pacify everyone. Accept everyone as they are. Recognize all lifestyles as all good. Acknowledge all kinds of philosophies and religions as all equal. On the other hand, all the saints of the church lived lives of struggles, battles, torments, persecutions, and pains. Although they look calm on our prayer cards, lives of saints were series of confrontations against all kinds of evil within and without, and also against Satan and demons. They had to go through temptations and tests. They had to battle against their own vices and weaknesses. You might not believe this, but saints are those who went to the confession much more frequently than average Catholics. And many of saints were eyewitnesses to demons and Satan, which made them tortured and fearful. Saints of the church are not certainly those spiritual gurus in any sense. Christians live a harder life. It's because we are born of the water and the spirit. We are no longer living as the flesh only, but as the spirit. An alert spirit always struggles with the flesh, as St. Paul teaches us. From the moment of baptism, we start struggling. The more spiritual we are, the more severe our struggles become. And Satan is always around to tempt us and to destroy us. Cast all your anxiety on him, God, because he cares for you. St. Peter consoles us in today's first reading. We are all struggling and suffering because the world hates us as it hated Christ first. Your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering, St. Peter tells us. <laughs> 